Good morning, and how are you today? That's wonderful. I'm enjoying a nice cup of joe. Mmm, delicious. So I didn't have to take the wife to work today because she is going with her mother. Yes, her mother took her because I didn't have to now. You would think I would have taken this opportunity to sleep in, but no. No, I, I woke up. I don't know why, but I did. Here we are. Today, I think we're moving a fridge. We'll see. It's Wednesday, also known as Hump Day. Yay! I just made a short video for iJustine's Vlog University, and... I'm thinking I might want to redo it, but you'll see the final product. I'll post it and you'll see it. So hope you enjoy it when I do edit it and put it up. I just reshot the video that I'm going to use as a video response to iJustine's Vlog University video about your favorite shirt. So watch out for that one. It's so nice outside today. Look at how beautiful it is outside today. Going to get lunch food. Because it's so nice outside today. Alright, got my Arby's for lunch. And I was wondering, do you ever have this happen to you? You go somewhere where there is nobody. Nobody is there. And then as soon as you show up, people behind you. All over. I mean, ridiculous. Like, I just went to Arby's. I was at the drive-thru. I was getting my food, waiting for my change. And I looked behind me. Four or five cars just pulled up. Nobody was there a second ago. Four or five behind me within a minute. Ah, this happens at other establishments too when I go there. I'll show up. Be nobody there. I look behind me. The line is filled. Ridiculous. It's so nice out. People are riding around in motorcycles. I wish I had a motorcycle to ride right now. What is wrong with Hollywood? They took little Red Riding Hood and turn it into a horror film. Why? Why would you do that? That makes no sense. Quit screwing with shit, Hollywood. Quit it. I totally lost track of time and it is almost 3.30 and I have to pick up my wife in a half an hour. Totally spaced out. Off to pick up the wife from work and then I think I'm going to try to convince her to go to the store because I am hungry and we don't have anything to make for dinner or food. So I'm going to try to convince her to have Slappy Joe's with me tonight. Slappy Joe, you and me, you know, we're gonna be friends forever. Slappy Joe, in my belly you go. Did you like my song? Good. Oh my God, can my life get any worse? I forgot the buns for the Slappy Joe's tonight at the store. And now I have to go all the way back. I can't keep it in your face. Uh, it's too funny. I put a post on my Facebook and I said, I forgot my buns at the store. Fuck my life. Can it get any worse? As a joke, because it's not that bad. But there are some people out there that do get mad at little things like that in life. And it's funny because it's not that bad, people. Relax. Calm down. Enjoy life. Have a good time. You know what I mean? Getting dark. Tomorrow, it's going to be like 60. Oh my God. Ooh, what am I going to do? Have you heard of Dimitri Martin? He's a comedian. Yes, he's very funny. He plays guitar, some bass. Bells. Sometimes he kicks his bells. Anyways, him, Elijah Slash Singer, Bo Burnham, Brian Regan. They all need to do a show together. I think the younger comedians need to start doing collaborative shows because they'd be funny and it'd be good times, you know? Maybe like a benefit sort of deal. That'd be pretty interesting. So yeah, they should get on that. Yeah, I have no way of actually telling them that. I've got my buns and now we're going to the library to get some library materials. Library materials. Library materials. I'm the greatest husband ever. Why, you may ask? Well, my wife wanted me to go to the library and get season three of the show Six Feet Under, and I grabbed season three and four. And as I was checking out, she texted me. She goes, can you get seasons three and four if possible? So I texted her back in the truck. I go, oh, I already checked out and I'm already on my way home. But she doesn't know that I have four already. <laughs> I'm making some Sloppy Joes, and I texted her for and I said, hey, I'm making some sloppy joes you want one lol because obviously they can't come over and get one because they're far away i got a text back they go oh my god that sounds so good i haven't had one in so long which surprises me because i've heard this before from people that they haven't had sloppy joes in forever you know it's not that easy look you brown some meat mm, look at all that red meat you take a can of sandwich and you mix it up and you're done and you put it on a bun and there's your sloppy joe it's amazing it's delicious it's easy i don't know why more people don't do it maybe they just don't think about it that's so easy 
you know? Or maybe they don't want something so simple. Maybe they want a more elaborate food. Well, you want a more elaborate Sloppy Joe? Kill the car yourself, and then get yourself some ground chuck out of it, and then make yourself a Sloppy Joe. Or make your own Manwich mix. That's a more complicated Sloppy Joe. But really, they're that simple. So I'm gonna finish making this Sloppy Joe. I'm gonna eat my dinner. I think I'm gonna make a smoothie. And then, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll see you later. Library materials!